Robin Hood burst onto the scene with a bold promise to democratize finance for everyone. It offered commission-free trading, making investing accessible to everyone, regardless of their financial background or experience. Millions flocked to the platform, drawn to its user-friendly interface and the allure of easy profits. The app's simplicity and zero fees made it particularly attractive to young, tech-savvy investors. Robinhood became synonymous with a new generation of investors, especially during the meme stock frenzy that captivated the world. Its impact on the brokerage industry has been undeniable, forcing traditional players to adapt and innovate in order to stay relevant in this new era of trading. However, Robinhood's rapid rise has not been without its challenges. The company has had to navigate a complex landscape of regulatory scrutiny and public opinion. The company has faced regulatory scrutiny and criticism over its gamification of investing, which some argue encourages risky behaviour among inexperienced traders. Now, Robinhood is grappling with another significant hurdle, a revenue miss in the third quarter of 2024, which has shaken investor confidence. This revenue miss has raised serious questions about the company's growth trajectory and long-term sustainability, leaving many to wonder what the future holds for this once revolutionary platform. At the heart of Robinhood's revenue miss lies a customer promotion program that was both ambitious and costly. Seeking to attract new users and boost trading activity, Robinhood offered a generous incentive that was hard to resist. New customers received a significant bonus for depositing funds into their accounts, making it an attractive deal for many. While this strategy initially seemed successful in attracting new users, it came with a hefty price tag that the company had to bear. Robinhood was required to offset a portion of the bonus paid to customers, which added to their financial burden. This offsetting significantly impacted the company's bottom line, ultimately contributing to the lower-than-expected revenue figures. The company's decision to implement this promotion underscores the intense competition in the online brokerage space, where every user counts. It also highlights the challenges Robinhood faces in balancing growth with profitability, a common dilemma in the fast-paced world of fintech. Robinhood's third quarter earnings painted a stark picture. The company reported net revenue of $637 million. While this figure represents substantial revenue generation, it fell short of expectations. Adding to the concerns, Robinhood posted a net income of $150 million, indicating a decrease in profitability compared to previous quarters. These figures, released in the company's official earnings report, sent shockwaves through the financial markets. Investors and analysts alike were left to grapple with the implications of this revenue miss. The results signalled potential headwinds for Robinhood as it navigates a rapidly changing market landscape. The Q3 earnings report revealed a significant discrepancy between Robinhood's performance and analyst expectations. This unexpected gap has left many in the financial community scratching their heads, trying to understand the underlying reasons. Financial experts had projected net revenue of $663.5 million for the quarter. These projections were based on various market trends and Robinhood's previous performance, which had shown promising growth. The actual revenue of $637 million fell short of this estimate, raising concerns about the accuracy of previous growth projections. This shortfall has led to a re-evaluation of the company's market position and future potential. Similarly, analysts had anticipated a net income of $169.8 million. These expectations were built on the assumption that Robinhood would continue its upward trajectory in profitability. The reported $150 million net income 
further widened the gap between expectations and reality. This significant miss has caused a stir among investors and analysts alike, prompting a deeper dive into the company's financial health. This miss on both revenue and income estimates sparked a wave of analysis and debate among market observers. Experts are now questioning the factors that led to such a discrepancy and what it means for the company's future. Many questioned whether this miss was an isolated incident or a sign of deeper issues within Robinhood's business model. The ongoing discussions are likely to influence investor confidence and the company's strategic decisions moving forward. Following the release of the third quarter earnings report, Robinhood stock experienced a significant decline. The drop in share price reflected investor concern about the company's ability to meet its growth targets. It also highlighted the market's sensitivity to any indication of weakness in the tech sector, where growth is often prioritized over profitability. This negative market reaction underscored the importance of meeting or exceeding financial expectations, especially for a company like Robinhood. The stock's performance served as a stark reminder of the potential volatility that comes with investing in high-growth, disruptive companies. Section 6. Unraveling the Revenue Miss a closer look While the customer promotion program undoubtedly played a role in the revenue miss, other factors likely contributed. The broader market conditions, marked by increased volatility and uncertainty, likely impacted trading activity on Robinhood's platform. Additionally, the competitive landscape for online brokerages has intensified. New entrants and established players are vying for market share, putting pressure on Robinhood to maintain its growth trajectory. The company's ability to navigate these challenges will be crucial to its long-term success. Section 7. Charting a new course. Long-term implications. The Q3 revenue miss has forced Robinhood to reassess its strategy. The company must find a sustainable path to profitability while continuing to attract and retain users. This balancing act will require careful consideration of pricing strategies, marketing expenditures, and product development. Robinhood may need to explore new revenue streams or diversify its offerings beyond stock trading. The company's ability to adapt and innovate will determine its future in the ever-evolving world of finance. Section 8. The Bigger Picture Lessons for the Industry Robinhood's experience serves as a cautionary tale for the broader brokerage industry. The allure of rapid growth and aggressive customer acquisition tactics must be balanced with sound financial management. The intense competition in the online brokerage space is unlikely to subside. Companies that prioritize profitability and sustainable growth over short-term gains may be better positioned for long-term success. The industry as a whole must adapt to changing investor preferences and navigate evolving regulatory landscapes. Section 9. Robinhood's Future. Challenges and Opportunities. Despite the recent setback, Robinhood remains a significant player in the financial technology landscape. The company has a large and engaged user base. Robinhood's commitment to democratizing finance continues to resonate with millions of investors, especially younger generations. However, Robinhood faces an uphill battle. It must address its profitability concerns, navigate a highly competitive landscape, and regain investor confidence. The company's ability to overcome these challenges will determine whether it can transform from a disruptive force 
into a lasting presence in the financial services